Hey, hey, hey. So on today's episode, we are going to talk about investing, investing for a five-year-old, investing with a five-year-old, I should say. So Aya, can you tell your name and how old you are? Um, I, I'm five years old and my name is Aya. Aya. Do you know how to invest, Aya? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell everybody how you invest? And this is Zuri. Zuri is seven months old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put my um toys in my bank, and then I wait until we have enough money. Okay, and so what is your favorite stock to invest in? Um, Apple. Why do you always like to invest in Apple? Uh, because um, I love to eat apples. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what kind of phone do you have? Well, I have two apples phones. You have two. Actually, she does. Have, she has two iPhones by Apple. Um, and what kind of tablet do you have? The iPad, right, Susan? Apple iPad. And since you have all of that stuff that you buy for yourself, you might as well own part of the company, right? Yeah. Yes. And did you know that when you buy stocks and something, you own it, right? Yeah. Okay, tell us something else about investing. When you um, when you get more money, that that's the best thing. That's right. So we invest to grow our money, right? Can you yeah. say that? We are investing to grow money. That's right. We invest to grow our money, and investments are usually things that are long term, which means that you hold investments for a year or longer. Do you know? When you'll be able to get your investments? When? Well, you'll get your investments when you go to college or you turn 18. So if I gave you a big chunk of money right now, what would you do with it? I'd put it in my piggy bank. No, what, what's one thing you would want to spend it on? Um. When you're, say you're, you're a teenager, what's something that you would buy if you're a teenager? A hamster. A hamster. You think you'll still want a hamster then? Yeah. What about a car? Yeah, a Tesla car. You want a Tesla? What kind of Tesla do you want? The white ones. Oh, you like the white Teslas? Yeah. Why do you like Teslas? Because um, I I know how to open them. You know how to open the door in a Tesla, huh? Because it's cool, huh? All right, so not only do you want a Tesla car, but you also own Tesla stock, don't you? Yeah. You invest in Tesla sometimes too, right? Yes. Because that's something that you like. And you know what Tesla looks like. What does a Tesla symbol look like on the car? What does a Tesla look like? On the back of it? Yeah, the symbol. Does it look like a T? Yes. Yes, it does look like a T. So you can recognize what a Tesla is, right? Yes. So the, my rule of thumb is if a child can recognize something from the emblem or from the signage, it is your sign that they are ready to invest. Naima, what does investing do to your money? Uh, so investing, say this, you have like a thousand dollars. Those thousand dollars... If you invest, it could turn into a hundred thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. So it makes your money grow, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What are your favorite? Some of your favorite companies to invest in? So there is Roblox, Disney, uh, Netflix. Wait, yeah, Netflix. Mm-hmm. And then I also and then I also like to invest in Nintendo. What you, do you know? What your top stocks are like? What the stocks you own the most of? Uh, Tesla, like Tesla, and Apple, and Apple, uh, mm-hmm. and then I think I uh, and then what about Disney? Do I invest a lot in Disney? Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. And why do you like to invest in those companies? Uh, I like to invest in those companies because, uh, uh. Uh, because I use them daily, mm-hmm. and uh, and they're kind of like um, known, mm-hmm. and they're actually pretty nice. 
So do you understand what all those companies do? Mm. You understand what Tesla does? What What does Tesla do? Uh, they sell electric cars. Okay. What does Disney do? Uh, they make, uh, they basically make fairy tales, kind of. Movies, right? Yeah, movies. And shows, right? Yeah. All right. And what does Roblox do? Uh, it's a video game. So my rule of thumb and what I like to tell people is, is if they can't explain what a company that they're investing does in a couple of simple words, it's probably not a good investment. So like when people ask me about, crypto or they ask me about nfts and all of this kind of stuff if i can't explain it or if they can't explain it back to me exactly what that company does i usually say it's not a good investment do you agree yeah yeah and so you have three different kinds of investment accounts do you know what the difference is between all three of them uh so um, there's my save really no savings account no so you have a regular uh, brokerage account. A regular brokerage account. And there's, that's the one where you pick your, that, that you pick your own stocks in, right? Uh-huh. And then uh, uh, there's also my college fund. Yes. Uh-huh. And in your college fund, what kind of, in your college fund, what kind of stocks do you own? You own index what? Uh, index funds. Right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then what's your third investment account? Uh, I think. It's think. when you get older, right? It's your uh, re- uh, retirement account. Mm-hmm. And then what kind of funds are you investing in your retirement account? Uh, Same. Index funds. Yeah, index funds. Right. So the only reason why I let the kids pick individual stocks and it's only a small portion of their portfolio is because I want to train them to be owners and not just consumers because we're inundated with messages to just buy, buy, buy everything they watch. They have, they get advertised and it's like, they understand like Barbie and all that kind of stuff just by the logos, just from the commercials. And so if they can recognize that from the commercials, then I really want them to be able to understand that they can own these companies. And so it trains them to look differently (laughs) about consumerism and kind of use it in their favor. Anything else you want to add about investing, Naima? Mm. Oh, investing is uh, is actually really good if you start (laughs) early because then you could, uh, because then you could build more and more uh, money. Say, uh, Say this, I started investing when I was six. I would get more and more money each day, uh, uh, but if I invested it until I was like 30 or 60, then I would have less money, but I would still have a lot. Right. So in, in essence, the earlier you invest, the less you have to invest, the less of your money you have to invest for it to reach these nominal numbers. So if you started at six, you might only have to invest $5 a day as opposed to get to the same number as if you started at 30, you would probably have to invest a hundred dollars a day to catch up to where she's at, at that same time. So that's why starting to invest early and often is super important, even if you only have a little bit of money to invest. So that's a very smart lesson. Aya, anything else you want to share about investing? Yeah. Okay. What else? Well, your money gets to go. Mm-hmm. And it keeps on getting bigger, and um, and when you're 19, you can get your money and go and buy something. That money in your account is yours to go and buy. When you have a custodial account, like a custodial brokerage, after your child reaches the age of consent, they are able to withdraw that money. So that's something to keep in mind when you think about custodial accounts for kids it's legally theirs um 529s you can change the beneficiary at every any time so whoever the beneficiary is they're able to use that but it's only for educational funds so that's something else to keep in mind but i have a comprehensive ebook about this if you guys are interested in learning how to invest for your kids um, I have an ebook, so it's at financiallyintentional.com under the shop. You can find it there. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about investing, investing for kids. As you can see, my kids have kind of been inundated with these messages. And so 
they kind of know it, but I'm trying to normalize these conversations so I can change the narrative for my kids. And hopefully it'll help you change the narrative for yours.